The Twitter layoffs have people questioning how they're handling the layoffs and who they're targeting because some of the people that appear to be laid off are rather interesting already. So right here we have a California employment attorney saying that they should sue Twitter for violating the Warren law for not giving them 60 days notice of the massive layoff. Also, they questioned, is Elon Musk going to violate any anti-discrimination laws with the way that these layoffs are being handled? Now, that is all, something that's going to have to go through the courts, which is happening. They have been sued. But there's more. So here is one Twitter employee. Has it already started? Happy layoff Eve. And if you scroll down, you can see the password was changed less than an hour ago. They can't access their Twitter account. Now, why is this particular person being fired interesting? Well, we'll see if it becomes a trend with those being fired. Because this person was the director of software engineering at Twitter, who with a team of researchers found that tweets posted by accounts from the political right receive more algorithmic amplification than the political left. Yes, literally that Twitter is biased to conservatives was found with a team of researchers with this person. And this is on an official Twitter page. Now, also what's interesting is if you scroll down, below is this staff machine learning researcher. Were they fired? I can't tell because they protected their accounts, but there are people replying with crying emojis. So, what is going on? Well, Twitter is possibly laying off people illegally. There's going to, of course, be looking into who they're laying off to see if they're laying off discriminately. And... People are going to be questioning, are they laying off the people that point out the conservative bias of Twitter? It's going to be very, very interesting few days. And I've seen some other people come out and say they don't have NDAs. So if that's the case, a lot of tea is going to be spilled.